the primary thing that I study is uh, how native wildlife species, mostly birds but other things too, are affected by the kinds of things humans do across very large spatial areas. It's what's called landscape ecology. So I grew up in the suburbs of uh, Akron, Ohio, and I joined the Boy Scouts at a, a pretty early age. And um, at one point, uh, a group of us in the Boy Scout troop decided to do all the nature merit badges, and we started with bird study. And I really enjoyed it and started uh, watching birds, and I've been doing it ever since. So I came to Purdue in 1994, um, and so I have a little over 20 years of experience in the area. And even in that time frame, uh, I can see that things have changed with regards to our, our bird populations. We're in an area where a large proportion of the species uh, that are native here are migratory. So every spring we look forward to uh, the birds that have spent the, the winter to our south returning, uh, some passing through, some staying to breed. Uh, in the summer we, we look for nests and evidence of breeding, and then in the fall we look for migration again. And the, the timing of those events is, is just um, different. Those kinds of things are probably the bird's response to changing climates. One of the signature things that you can do here in Indiana in the fall is go look at the places where large numbers of sandhill cranes get together. They come together uh, for weeks at a time, feed uh, on waste grain that's left behind after uh, corn and soybeans are harvested in the fields of northern Indiana. And um, uh, eventually those flocks of cranes uh, go go south in winter uh, south of here, at least that's traditionally what they've done. Uh, at its peak, you can get uh, 10, 20, maybe even 30,000 cranes in a place like Jasper Pulaski um, State Wildlife Management Area. There's very few places in the eastern United States where you can see that kind of spectacle of thousands of cranes uh, all together in, in one place. It used to be that we would have a field trip to go up and see the cranes in late October or early November uh, when it's expected that they'll reach their peak. Now we do it uh, in Thanksgiving, uh, around Thanksgiving or the first week of December because the cranes are staying further north long, later and later and they're um, delaying their migratory um, movements south uh, below us uh, later and later. It's even happened fairly frequently in the last 10 years or so that several thousands of, of cranes will uh, spend the entire winter at Jesper Pulaski. With any large scale change, there's always winners and losers. People go into biology and the other natural sciences in order to study change and to understand it. So uh, if everything was always the same, that would be kind of boring. But on the other hand, uh, the, to remember what it was like in the past when we had many more birds and more species moving through makes you kind of sad um, when you don't see uh, that many species. We, we don't know what the long-term consequence is going to be.